Hey Luke here with CatsandCarp.com. I'm here with my boy Tommy, my friend Joe from Chat Cats Fishing, and his daughter Kayla. And we are gonna break Joe's personal best for carp. And if we can do that, we're gonna be giving away some fishing gear. So stay tuned. <laughs> now Nathan, Nathan, and sorry, buddy, you gotta stay behind. No way! You're gonna coast me to the but you airport. didn't. You didn't have a nap today, no. too. You can't... Guys, bye bye. <laughs> bye, Nathan. Bye. All right, you excited, Tommy? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go do it. Let's go do some fishing. Alright buddy, you ready to go catch some carp? Yeah! Let's do it! We're ready too, man! We're All ready! Right. I don't like it! Hey look, here's the catch the carp gun gun! <laughs> and we're fishing! Alright, let's get this party started! Ah, oh, purr my kitten, purr! Alright, let's do this! This, empty that in there. Okay. Here, let me help you. Yeah, hang on there. Do you know what this is? Go and we mix it up. Okay, I gotta get my can opener. Oh. I'm gonna do about half a can. Just the moisture on the kernels of corn should be enough to soften up the the like, panko. You, you you want it to squeeze into a nice little ball, get softer as more of the water comes out of the kernels of corn. But you want it to be able to go into a ball. If it doesn't go into a ball, it's too dry. You're gonna take a little bit of this, mush it into a ball, and okay, dip a little scent on there, a little tutti frutti scent. Squish it in there. Little nugget of pack bait. And, and now we'll open up or kind of dissolve when it's in the water, right? Yeah, a little, yeah, it'll dissolve a little bit and our fake corn will be right there in the middle of it. Awesome. Kayla, what do you think this smells like? Oh, I don't know what it smells like. Like candy maybe? Candy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, check that out. Oh yeah, it does. It's like tutti frutti flavor. This is the difference between catfishing stink baits and carp baits. I mean, my wife is thrilled that I go carp fishing instead of <laughs> catfishing. You know, I come back smelling so much better. All right, Joe. So uh, tell me, man, what's what's the biggest carp you've ever caught? It's like probably a quarter of a pound. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Perfect uh, bait size, really, for a flathead or something. <laughs> Just, we're, 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 no, 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 it's, it, you're absolutely right. It's, I'm just thinking we're really going to beat your PB today. Yeah, we're you know, either we're getting skunked hey, or we're going to rock man, your world. I'm keeping my hopes high, man. I'm keep, now, have you ever you? Oh, that one's going to bite. Yeah. So the question, oh, oh. Jo, wait, go for him. Uh, reel it down, reel it down. He's on there. Yep, he's on. Okay, uh, pull him up aggressively. There's some snags over there. You, right. you want him. There he goes. There you go. Good job. Can you lift can you lift him into the boat, Tom? I can't. You can't? <laughs> Alright. So they're about an average channel catfish for this spot. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, they're nice channel cats. Can't touch <laughs> Look at that. They love that corn. Right behind that plate. That's the benefit of a hair rig. It puts the hook in the bottom lip almost every single time, and that's the ideal spot for a carp. Here we go. There we go. I firmly believe that having carp in this reservoir is one of the reasons why we have big flatheads in this reservoir. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, a big, a big flathead has to eat a lot of bluegill and shad. Oh, yeah. Oh, or man. just one carp. <laughs> well, they just look for that one good meal. They're an ambush predator, so they're going to do that. Now, right now, we're fishing in the heat of the day. It's about 5.30, I think. And the carp and the catfish really don't get active until about 6 or so. So what will happen is you'll come here, you'll hit whatever fish are in your spot, and nothing's really moving around, so you won't hit anything else for a while. When it's hot like this, you kind of stick and move, stick and move. You don't camp out one place. By the time it gets nighttime, then you can camp out a little bit more because the fish might come to you. Come over here. Woo -wee, thank you. Mm, I love you. Are you are you driving the boat? Yeah. I think you're driving us into a log jam. Go left. The kids are hot. The carp are probably hot too. So I'm looking for a shady bank with about seven, eight feet of water and an emergent vegetation along the shore. So you can see right there, we got the emergent vegetation, some nice snags and stuff, some structure. And right now we're punching in right around eight feet right here, 8.2. So this is probably the spot. Now we're gonna look for some bubbles. Come on, let's go look for bubbles. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for bubble trails that show me feeding carp. And I see a bubble trail, some stuff right in here, right in here. So I think I'm going to do this. Watch out, Tom. Watch out, Tom. Watch out, buddy. Okay, we're probably not going to go in the water, okay? Just, you know, the, oh, here we go. Hold on. All right, right here, just got a bite. You don't have to set the hook. Right, and just it's just, just like a fishing with the circle. Hook. Kaylee, we got a fish. Look, Kaylee, we got a fish. All right. I believe I can fly. <laughs> Reel them down. Reel them down. There you go. Yep, you got All right. Oh, we'll take them back. I just died. Oh. All right. <laughs> I think it's a channel though. Yeah, that's flathead bait right there. Yeah. Careful, Tommy. These are the sharp ones. You know, ah. these are the ones with the sharpest spines. Joe, you, you got to turn off that catfish. I know. Mag that internal catfish magnetism. I did it All right, again. There you go, there you go, man. There you oh, go. He's on like Donkey Kong. Really? Really? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a carp, I think. Yeah, he could be moving around with some good figure. Don't let him get in that other line or the anchor line. All right, all right, all right. What do you think it is? Yeah, moving like a carp. Channel, you think? Yeah, I think it's probably a carp, but we'll see. If he starts spinning on you, then you know for sure. Boom goes the dynamite. These uh, fish are have sensitive skin, right? But now they're, I mean, they're not as tough as catfish, but they're not a particularly sensitive fish. I mean, right. the thing is, is the Europeans are over the top sensitive about the fish right. because they're all privately owned over there. Gotcha. You know, it, when I went fishing in England, uh, that, that little five acre lake that I fished in, mm -hmm. the owner told me that he spent quarter of a million pounds on stocking it with carp. Oh wow. So that 28 pound carp I caught was worth about 10 to 12 thousand dollars. What? That one fish. So, Are you serious? so they get really uptight about how you treat the fish because they're worth a freaking fortune. These things fight hard are definitely a highly underrated fish. I wish more people would give these fish more credit, you know? Yeah, they're nice. A lot of the ones here they got a little pink in the tail yeah, right definitely. there. Little princess tail. Yeah. Well how about this? Should we weigh them? Sure, let's weigh him. Mine as well. No problem. He's... Should I be very gentle, or can yeah, I just... just get down as low as you can and drop them in? He, he, they're not, they're not a sensitive fish. I mean, All they're, right. they're tougher than the British give them credit. There we go. That's perfect. Look how strong he swam off, man. Nice. Took off like a rocket. Well, congratulations. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, dude, that was go. fun, man. Okay. He's on. He just swam out behind that log. Okay, here, here, put your, here, here let him. Let, you put your rod tip down. Put your rod tip down. Just let him sit for a second. Sit it down in the rod holder, and then just let's see if he swims out. I bet. 
I bet there's a decent chance he'll come out of there just because it's that was a huge run though. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty typical of what we'll see with carp. They they, they like to move. Oh, he's coming out. He he's out. He's out. I, I think he is. I think he is. You, what do you think? He's still. Yeah, hooked. he's out. He's out. He's out. All right. He's out. Yep, there he is. There you go. The runs with these carp are so much more intense than a catfish run. No offense to the catfish. I love catfish, but I tell you. They're just different beasts. Just different, for sure. Nice, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, excellent. Every single fish, whether it's a catfish or carp, they're all hooked right in the lips, just like a circle hook. But you're, right. fishing, you're fishing bait with a J-hook. And it's that hair rig. The hair right. rig does it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good looking fish. This, you like that? And then you can just let go of one of the handles. Kind of roll them in. There you go, buddy. There you go. Nice fish. Yeah. All right, go for it. He's on. Is it a cat? Yeah, see how he's spinning around? Yeah. My biggest flathead, my biggest channel catfish were both caught while carp fishing. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I think I remember you saying that. Yeah, 23 pound channel catfish on this exact same bait and rig. Channel catfish on a catfish channel. <laughs> oh, he's in that grass. Pull him to the left, pull him to the left. Okay. Yeah, because he's in the left of that log. Yeah, this is a good one, man. No joke. Okay. Yeah, he just he just took what 12, 15 feet of drag like nobody's business, and that drag is cranked down. Yeah, that's a good one. I think I got him over here. I'm gonna coax him over here. All right. Crossed. He's crossed. That's all right. Okay, go underneath me. Go underneath me. All right. Go so just keep him out from keep him above that anchor line though. That's the th that's thing. The, uh -oh. We can't move the anchor line. Yeah, he might be. Well Look at that one, guys. Time for yeah. There he goes. There you go. But look how much ground he covered. I mean, mm -hmm. that guy just, just moved like 40, 50 feet in a heartbeat. I mean, I don't this think I could. He has a lot of stamina. Yeah, I don't know if I could run that fast. <laughs> Not without a grizzly bear chasing me. That's a nice one right there. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one, man. Yeah, this is this is this, this is, is more like what we're looking yeah. for. Yeah, this is more what we're looking for. Put... Hey, look at this fish. Oh, oh, there we go. oh yeah. <laughs> look at that. That's a beauty. Right there. That's beautiful. Beautiful fish. It's a new personal best, right? New personal best. Beautiful colors. Look at that. Orange on the tail right there. That's the third time you've broken your PB today. Third time. Let's go and release this guy. He should be okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I think it's a catfish. Yeah, probably. But, uh. Yeah, I'm going to win. Whoa. Hi, kind of woke up on you? And these are all common carp, right? These are all common carp. Yeah, let's... All right, there he is. Oh, yeah, nice little guy. There he goes. Say hello. Hello. Okay, look at this. is doing an awesome fishing rod and reel giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a Silver Cat Magnum B&M rod with a uh, Level Wine Reel, an Akuma Classic XT. Uh, be sure to click the link below um, in my video and he'll also leave one too for you to figure out what you need to do to be a part of that giveaway. Oh, I'll probably just do another. I heard that guy jump. Yeah. Yeah, he, he came out. Oh, you're, you need to go underneath this one. You need to go under. Oh, I got a double here. Got a double? Here. 
See, this is how you do it. I, I film while I, I play a fish here. Hey, Kelly, do you want to reel in a fish? Tommy, you want to reel this one in? So can! Okay, Tommy, why don't you take it? It's going crazy! Yeah, you're just going crazy too, Tommy. You got him? Look at that! Okay. Good job, Tommy. Yeah. That one's a nice one, man. All right. Channel. Come here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, you got a nice one there, too. You gotta evacuate the net. Oh, yeah. Good job, honey. I got a fish. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, I got him. I'm so covered in bugs. Well, it's cats and carp. Look at that, man. Beautiful channel catfish, beautiful carp. This is what it's all about, man. Definitely. Oh, all right. Well, hey, everyone, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to win an awesome $120 rod and reel combination, Joe here with Chat Cats Fishing YouTube channel is giving it away. If you want to win, all you need to do is go to his channel, click on the video of this trip, Click subscribe, share the video, and guess the weight of his new PB for carp. And he's going to pick the winner from the correct answers. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching. We hope you guys had a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Don't forget to click stop poo. No.